the beginning of the end of that was when you met the woman who is now your wife. What do you mean by that? How did things start to change? It just brought things into focus for me, Scott. It was like a... I don't know. I, 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 when I met Millie, I instantly knew that I would marry her. It was a very strange thing. Um, it was very, very visceral and real. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to be spending my life with this woman. And, you know, you instantly are like, how impressive am I at this juncture? Um, I guess relatively so. I, I, you know, I was, I, I had a bit of money. I, you know, I had a bit of success doing what I, what I did as a, as a model. I was acting. I'd done, you know, I could just about call myself an actor. I was doing a little bit of that. I knew she had been an actress before. Actually, I thought she was still at that stage, but she'd already stopped it by then. Um, so I wanted that. It was something about just wanting to kind of, um, I guess impress her in the, in the, in the sort of most basic of terms of going like, if I'm going to get serious with this woman, which I think I really know I, w I will, I want to, I want to start making stuff happen. Cause I do think your mindset changes if you're, if you're floating around and it suits you to be a single guy and flying around the world to get your photograph taken here and there and get paid pretty well to do it and then come back to your bachelor pad and it, you get very comfortable doing that and it's fine, but it also, can kill ambition a bit probably because you just get comfortable with, with that setup and then you realize you know you you, you realize that uh you want to be with someone i'm not saying all these realizations that happened in that one night but you know once i fell in love with her which was pretty fast i was like um no let's um i need to like make stuff happen you know i, I do i need to like focus a bit more um i was in my later 20s, which is obviously still really young, but I was like, uh, my career wasn't where I wanted it to be, truly. And uh, I probably had that at that point lost focus on it a little bit and was a bit like, it's kind of quite, it's kind of fine the way it is. You know, I get to make quite a lot of money for not doing too much. Am I hugely satisfied? No, but like, you know, and it made me just go, no, I'm going to just work pretty hard on this and, and try to make stuff happen. And um, now that this great thing has happened in my life and that, so that's kind of what I did. And it really is, you can, like, if you were looking at a graph of my, you know, uh, professional life uh, parallel with my personal life, it was when I met Millie that things just spiked upwards in both direct for both um lines you know so it was um i don't think that's fluke i do think it was her influence